Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone's doing good. We've got some exciting news. Let's focus. We got invited to ComplexCon. Woo! It's official. So anyway, we're super excited. Um, our ideas, we kind of bounced around with a lot of stuff. I drew the rendering on Procreate and I just wanted to, we kind of thought about like the greenhouse idea and we thought that was cool since we have so many plants in here for sale and stuff like that. So we just wanted to incorporate the plants still and kind of make it look similar to our store. So all of the cubes that we have, on the cube wall. Yep. we have 20 extra. So we're going to bring those and set up like a cool wall on the shorter wall. And then the longer 20 foot wall is where we're going to do the, the hedge, hedge yeah. and have the greenhouse. So you guys already saw the picture. So yeah. And uh, yeah, you guys got to come check us out. We'll be recording everything going into complex com from when we have to set up to the actual event. So we'll have all those videos coming for you guys. And we might split it up into two. So I think we're going to do the preparation first. But that's going to be really fun. I'm sure we're going to have problems. Because yeah. we always do. <laughs> so, can't wait to see you guys there. Stay tuned for all the store updates. Alright guys. Jess bought or brought a bunch of Halloween decor from her house. She wanted to get a live reaction. All right. Come on, Jay. First step. For the day. Woohoo! <laughs> we'll leave her here. This is perfect. <laughs> Look at the legs. What's next? next up, we have. Who are, are you? Woohoo! Okay. Okay. Trick or treat. Trick or treat. We'll definitely Watch put this out, out for. Out. Look at the spider. We'll definitely put this out for Saturday. We're doing a trick or treat day. Yeah, Saturday. this would be cool, like on the little windowsill. Oh, that's true. All right, I'm gonna tell you what the idea is. Two more desk decor ideas. We have a little pumpkin house. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh my god, my mom would love that. Okay. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, <that's great. laughs> this um, aftermarket goes for like six fifty. Just to let you guys know. Really? Yeah. Stupid, I'm not gonna let you get the chance. There we go. Y'all make sure y'all invest. <laughs> this is $9.99. Now it's going for five racks. Knowledge is power, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Got the climbing reaper right here. Scare some people away. Nice. Nice. Might put the hair in the ponytail. In a braid. A fishtail. All right, guys. I just want to ask everybody's opinion. Um, is it me, or should her like leg be up or something? Like make it look like she's crawling. Like I feel like this isn't complete. That's just me. I agree, but the leg doesn't have anything to hold it on. Or should we place the hand? <laughs> Jess, did you notice that behind you? During oh. your video? Oh my gosh! <laughs> What's the last decoration? Got the animated crawling skeleton. <laughs> I'm showing y'all the box because I like the box. He just wanted it to read the name. And uh, it also moves, but I don't know. You gotta be like super close to it. So. It only, only really works when you touch it. So yeah, pretty cool. Oh, no, scared. He's protecting our off whites. We're doing this today. It's our little spooky day, trick or treat day. Everyone, if they find a coupon in the store, they get 10 bucks off and we're hiding them all day. Let's go find Quinn hiding them. I hid one in here earlier. That's a good one. I, I thought about like if we hide them more like our height, you know, maybe we should hide them like kid height, but I don't know. Kids won't know like what it is. I feel like it's good. Perfect. They get three. They get what? A free, free sale tea. Woo! Hey, hey, hey! 
Yay! Uh, but no one's gotten a free sale tee. So we're about to see how hard this really is to get three in a row. They've got to go from this red tape. Ooh, oh. that's one. Okay. Oh. That was close. Yeah, ish. Okay. They have the tape on the ground. I think we should go right there. A little easier. <laughs> All right, so you got a grand total of one in a row. <laughs> I feel like I gotta get, gotta get back. Damn. Oh. oh. I think I've seen that done before. Come on, hype me up. You go, girl. You got this. Let's go. Woo. Flick in the wrist. Woo. Oh. A chicken, I'm sorry. I think it was like actually leftover. What is he the ball in this? Oh, okay, okay. I don't think now it'll work for Perfect. It's the cutest thing. <laughs> you try some I ball? love his little beak. 20% off. In the basket? Oh. You want to try? Like this. Ready? Like this. Ready? Oh, oh hell no! Oh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> no, now that one either. It matches. Yeah, see, I convinced you. There. Yeah. Oh, are you giving it to me? Thank you. Yeah. Okay, she's putting her contacts on for 20% off. <laughs> Super cool. She's ready. Okay. All right, she's ready. Oh, you get one more chance. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, no. 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 Yeah. Bring in. Bring in a. Bring a celebrity shot in. No. No. Not for twenty percent off. You can be the Oh. Okay. 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 Said. With the universities. What do you think of that Halloween decoration? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bought the hoop right now for fifty dollars store credit. Fifty dollars off some shoes. Oh, we gonna slot the lots, huh? Yeah, we got them out the what box. What size are you? Oh, yeah, this eleven. It's the right size, perfect size. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The flavor, flavor. What lot is that? These what number? Match, these match your teeth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what number is this? Uh, lot eight. Yeah, lot eight. Okay. Okay, lot eight. Lot eight. Fifty dollars off. Your total is now is uh, nine hundred and fifty dollars. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what did Kanye say? Stop clapping. <laughs> Nobody clap. <laughs> Absolutely no clapping. Hey guys, so Halloween weekend was really fun. Um, we do just have some bad news. So, um, basically, a customer has stolen at least over like $1,500 worth of stuff. Um, during this month, you know, we tried to have like, you know, fun stuff, try to get people out. October is kind of a slower month in retail, but um, unfortunately, it didn't happen like that. So, we pretty much found it all out on Tuesday, and Teddy was working, and I got breakfast. So, tell him what you thought. Yeah, so Savannah was out getting breakfast for both of us. Um, so I was in the store by myself and um, pretty much one of our customers that came in uh, kind of gave us like some vintage dunks. Um, so he wanted to kind of talk. We're trying to like figure out if we wanted to verify those or not. You know, it's a whole another story. But pretty much while I'm talking to him, another customer walks in. Um, we're familiar with this customer. He could be a little sketch sometimes based on what I've seen. Yeah, he kind of comes. We all recognize him. 
Yeah, he comes like all the time pretty much. So I knew like him coming in, you know, I'm, I'll watch him a little bit more because I've seen him do a little bit of, you know, funny things sometimes. So, you know, just pretty much as I'm watching him around the store, I see him looking at me a lot. You know, people, you know, you know when somebody's trying to like be weird, they'll kind of give you like the little side eyes, you know, like he's walking around the store giving me side eyes. I'm just like kind of sitting like just watching him or whatever. But the other guy wants to talk about the vintage dunks. So at this point, I'm trying to, you know, please that customer while I'm still trying to watch this customer keep an eye on and keep an eye on them pretty much. So, you know, based on just him being around the store, I didn't even like notice that he like kind of took a jacket from us. And then at the end, the biggest thing he took was the Supreme backpack. And kind of like once he walked out, I was like, all right, I don't think he like did anything weird, you know, until I noticed like, oh, the Supreme backpack is gone. And That's the backpack is like right at the front of our store. So it's really, it's like white, the canvas Supreme backpack with the box logo. It's really obvious. Yeah. So when it's not there anymore, Tay was like, oh my gosh. So that's when he looked at the cameras. Yeah, I went, I like, I was like, I gotta check the cameras. Went to the cameras, went like 10, 20 minutes back. Larry, I noticed like pretty much as soon as I was done talking to the other customer about the dunks and he finally walked out. So it wasn't too long. And then I just kind of saw him take the Rue jacket pretty much. And then I saw him also take the Supreme bag. And um, yeah, it was just like crazy. Clear as day, literally yeah. right there. Yeah. So when I came in, um, uh, Tay called me and told me about what happened. And I got here really soon after. And, um, and that's when I was wondering like, this guy comes in here all the time, right? It's not likely that this is the first time that he stole and he comes in here so much. He probably comes in here because we're a lick, like we're easy to steal from. So, yeah. um, so basically, uh, our other, my, our employee came in, Jess, um, and she said that he was just in here on Halloween weekend, so on Sunday. So um, right away, I was like, we're we like... need to look at those cameras from Sunday. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, he took a bunch of V-Loan t-shirts. Um, he grabbed like a Mirakami hoodie. Um, was even just like, it's crazy, like just shopping, like looking yeah. for his size, looking for like picking stuff up, mm, not gonna yeah. steal, like not that he's gonna spend money on it, just literally like, mm, yep. not gonna steal that. Pretty just casual with it. You could tell like, you know, uh, 2000. With the hanger, yeah, with the in hanger. the bag, so we have we'll put it stuff in. stuff here, we'll you'll see him kind of like, yeah, well, you guys will see the video. Uh, later on but pretty much him like just looking through the bench and stuff he's not really looking at it you know he wants to look at like the luxury street where i don't know if he like wants to resell it you know whatever he does with it you know so like pretty much you kind of see him really shopping for himself and just taking stuff you know looking at the sizes and everything it is just crazy because you can see him watching our workers and then looking around to kind of see if somebody's looking hiding behind clothing racks hiding behind customers yeah customers i just... mean just fake shopping yeah and i mean this dude like comes in here and like talks to us like to our right. face you know and he has before and talked about how you know it's so good he has we have a long beach shop here and he goes to melrose and whatever else so just yeah, gases we just, us up gases trying us to be up, friendly yeah. so we thought that was just like crazy you know how people will do that right in front of your face and then you know doing something that could take us out of business you know yep. just literally taking our money that we have to pay rent with so yeah yeah it's just unfortunate i think that you know we're so bait like we really want customers to feel like this is a long beach you know sort of store this isn't something on you know in hollywood on melrose and like more uppy areas this is like we're for the people you know so we really like value ourselves on customer service stuff like that so yeah. it just sucks because now you kind of look at every customer you know obviously it's fresh for us right so it's just like you look at every customer kind of like you know like just feeling nervous and you don't want people to feel like you're feeling weird about them but when something like that happens you just feel so violated so um we did make two police reports um there is like an open investigation and stuff so you know hopefully it pans out we'll let you guys know what happens in the future so that's the other thing he's for sure gonna come back yeah <laughs> so he's a loyal customer even though he's i don't think he's ever bought anything so yeah um but you can't change people so yeah and it's just unfortunate you know so yeah that's the downside of yeah. of having a business retail, yeah. yeah retail so. space so yeah, we'll uh, roll the clip for you guys um, sometime later on. And um, right now, we're just going to show you guys kind of like how we rearranged our store and kind of like made updates. So, thanks, guys. So, we moved some things around. Um, up front now, we have most of our luxury streetwear. Dang. I would say it's better organized. We get a better view of everything. Um, and the biggest reason is because someone stole from us yeah and we'll input the clips right here
So basically, y'all saw in the clip, bro came over here and took all the little V long t shirts, like five of them. So we figured this wasn't a good idea because it was our blind spot. So we basically just wanted to put all our shoes right here because. Can't see from there. Because if you steal one shoe, then. No one steals one shoe. Yeah. No it's just not that. very common. So that'd be pretty weird. And uh, if you do that, then go ahead. But yeah, better spot for the shoes right here. And their V long tees to stay on the racks. He stole all the shirts off of here, stealing shit up here. And the biggest problem is just the visibility. So we're gonna change around some training and changing around stuff in the store. So we're making our uh, store more user friendly. Kill the bug, brother. All right, bug killer. Actually, I put him outside. Wow. Save the bees. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember, but the shelf that we just showed you with all the shoes, this is where the shoes used to be. We're clearing this out, we're gonna throw it out, and we're now gonna put a kiosk here. Um, it's gonna just be more user friendly for all the customers so they can look at the size, the shoes, any style that they want. Here goes our little updated system that we put in. Now you can scroll and see like what size you want. Pretty user friendly now. So people don't have to like come up to us and like ask us the sizes over and over. Nine. See different results come up. But yeah, let us know what you guys think. Jess, do you like it? Yeah, I like it. I think it looks good. I think it's a good transition from the moss table to our little kiosk. Little now. kiosk. Moss here. It's nice. Yeah, it does look nice. Advertising our apps at the same time. Looks good to me. Okay, bye. Absolutely no clapping. <laughs>